and we are going in now. So interestingly, we see here a couple IS-3s, as, as we mentioned, might see T-32s. That was it's probably pretty much going to be a staple. And interestingly enough, Simp does not have, it looks like they went for the AMX-1390 over the T-50-2. Uh, nope, nope, they do have a T-50-2, I just totally missed that. They both have T-50-2s and AMX-1390s. So they actually, they may have some, uh, a couple, couple different opportunities or options to scout with here. One interesting thing to note here Let's get this show is on that Simp has brought a tier one tank right. of their own. So they're probably going to push that over to the railroad or some other position where he's going to sit in the bush and just be passive spotting to make sure that nobody comes from that general area. All right, so, so it looks like Simp here Looks like they're taking pretty much everything they have east. What are we seeing from what are we seeing from Havoc over there? Havoc is also pushing east. That actually makes sense from Sim's point of view. If they can get up onto that hill over there at G0, they'll have pretty thorough domination of this entire map. And if their scouts do a good job, nobody can get on top of their cap and win the game by that way. Right, so, so it'll probably be a more concentrated fight, especially than the last battle where tanks were, were a little more dispersed. Expect to see them collide up, and it looks like Sim just took out that T-50-2. I think that's, that's going to be a pretty major blow there to lose their, their spotter right off the bat like that. That's absolutely devastating, not just for the strategy, but for morale. I can tell you from experience, any time the 50-2 dies, everybody gets a little bit depressed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then we just saw an arty round hit right on there. It looked like looked like one of the IS-3s. Yep, one of the IS-3s took an arty round. Once you start taking artillery fire, uh, especially when you're exposed, I find that personally that's a little demoralizing too. Because if you don't have any place to go and you're being spotted, you don't have a good spotter anymore. They still have theirs. That that can be pretty demoralizing. When you're getting artillery, you only have two options, and it's grab hard cover or kill what's spotting you. Yeah. And there, the Simp is pulling their 50-2, almost dead, but it's, you know, you pull it back to keep it alive, probably probably play it here with a couple of quick spots and then pull back. Both teams still have those 1390s, so those, those make decent spotters as well, as you were saying earlier. The only problem with them is they have a pretty slow traverse. If you have a very good artillery who's used to leading tanks, the chances of him hitting a 1390 as opposed to a 50-2 or even a Chaffee are pretty good. Uh, and, and if he does hit it, I mean, that tank does not have enough armor to stop around from penetrating. It just goes right through. And uh, that's really painful with that, that little tank. If you hit it directly in the turret, there's a good chance you're going to penetrate straight into the crew compartment. That'll detonate, kill every crew member inside, which effectively kills your tank as well, despite not having done enough damage to take away all its hit points. So we see so Simp, Simp again moving that T-50-2. Way out on the flank, just coming in for a little spotting run, then hiding again. They can tell they really don't want to lose it up. And there goes one of the T-32s, a combination of, of arty and heavy tank fire there. Sim is really in a great position here. They've still got their T-50-2, which gives them sight advantage. They've got a very powerful arty for this tier. Oh, and like there, there goes a the lull tractor. There goes the lull tractor. Not very devastating there that... that was pretty much only serving as a, a spotter, if anything, and not a very mobile one, so that's that's not really significant. Looks like uh, Havoc has pulled their 1390 back here, very close to the cap, actually. Havoc right now is a little bit stood off from these buildings, which, given the health of this IS-3 and this T-32, it's not gonna really work out for them if they stay here too much longer. It looks like Simp is actually starting to fire on some of these buildings, and th they may even consider just running them over with that IS-3 right there. They have a heavy advantage. They know if those buildings go down that they're going to have clear firing lanes on all those tanks with nowhere to go. So I, I would say just man up and take them on head on. Ooh, so we're seeing a lot of fire here on every portion of the map. The 1390s are dueling it out in the back, while the heavies are... Although Havoc has just lost their last heavy, so... That leaves those heavies pretty much clear right into artillery. The 1390 is not doing well back here. Uh, Havoc's 1390 is not doing very well. Oh, and there goes that 1390. Now it's just Artie. I think this game is pretty much over. 
1390 battle, you could see Simp was taking a little bit of extra time to make sure all six of their rounds were hitting. Looks like they missed one at least because the other 1390 still lasted long enough, but that's one thing with French tanks. When you have a high clip reload, you want to make sure that all of your shots count because after that, the only thing you can do is run. Yep, and, and that usually means the difference between life and death. If you miss one of those shots, that probably means you're now going to be on the on the wrong end, so to speak, of the little of the dogfight that's taking place. Now Simp is just moving out, moving her in to spot Artie, take out Artie. Should be an easy kill. Simp seems to be assuming that Havoc placed their artillery in the northwest, which. Considering they move east right off the start, it isn't exactly what I would assume. I would assume they tucked him against that railroad. I mean, obviously I could see it, but... Yeah, I, I definitely think, especially with all those tanks heading east, I wouldn't want my arty out there, way out there in the west. You know, if one light came up, be spotted right away, no protection at all on the west there. Especially on this map, like we were talking about earlier, the longer flight time you have in between your artillery cannon and what your target you're trying to hit, the harder it is going to be to shoot them, not only because your accuracy gets, well, less accurate, but because, like we were saying before, it takes longer for them to get there. You lead yep. by maybe two and a half seconds, so when you take that shot, that guy may stop, he may back up, he may do all sorts of different things. And Up, oh, and there goes the last tank. Congratulations to Simp on this one. I, I, I really think... I really think that GW Panther versus the M12, I think the GW Panther is just the way to go there. 